press, press, press. Hey guys, I'm bringing you another tutorial today using Tanache Hair. They provided me with care instructions. Also, this really pretty satin scarf tie. And here's the wig. This is a 14 inch 13 by 6 uh, lace wig. And I actually already pre-toned it, so please forgive me for that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Most of you guys already follow me. So you know the proper ball cap breakdown method. So right here, I've already done her ball cap and I've already used the makeup or the foundation to tint her color. So now I'm just melting it into the skin and getting ready to apply my three layers of adhesive. Please make sure you follow the instructions for whatever type of lace adhesive you decide to use. So now I'm getting ready to apply the wig. Again, this is a 14 inch straight, 13 by six frontal wig. It was 613 in color, but I actually toned it to be this color using Wella toners, T28, T35, and T10. And that gave me ash and pale blonde tones. So I'm applying the wig to my client's head. I'm cutting ear tabs on each side, and then I'm going to carefully place or press the lace into my adhesive. After gently pressing the lace into the skin, I'm gonna use my shears to cut one inch partings across the front of the lace. And I'm going to use a razor to cut off the excess lace. Please be careful not to cut your client because the razor is extremely sharp, but you do wanna cut as close to the lace line as you can without cutting into the actual hairline of the wig. So I am carefully cutting the excess lace off with the razor as close to the hairline as I can. And then I'm using the back side of the razor to actually press the lace back into the skin, making sure not to use my fingers so that I won't get any oil or makeup transfer onto the lace, which could potentially cause lifting of the lace. I am going to do this all the way around her forehead and make sure you press really good into the skin so that you get a really good hold for your lace. Now that the lace is down, I'm going to secure it with an elastic band, which is going to help make the lace melt into the skin. And then she's going under the dryer for about 15 minutes just to really give a melted effect because I'm not going to do any baby hair on this look because the hair is so light and her skin is light. So just a quick shout out to my makeup artist, Charlene Dunlap. She really beat my client's face and she gave her this beautiful natural smoky eye and now that my client is from under the dryer i'm going to use a wax stick and my hot comb to really define that part again i'm not going to do any baby hair on this look because my client is very fair skinned and the wig is extremely light so i'm just wanting it to look as natural and as flat as possible so that's why i'm using the hot comb so make sure that you do it as many times as you need to, being careful not to burn the client and careful not to burn the wig. Um, but as you can see, I'm just using my hot comb to really make it lay flat. Now I'm going to use my razor comb to add some layers to this look to give her a really sexy, voluminous look.
Once I finish adding the layers, I'm going to style by curling her hair to give her this really vintage, kind of modern spin on Marilyn Monroe bob. So I'm going to curl her hair using a 1 4 inch curling iron and I'm going to do a comb out just so you can see the finished look. Again, the wig is laying super flat. Um, the part looks great. I didn't need any baby hair because we really melted the lace into the skin. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl her hair. So stay tuned for the final result. So I'm curling away from the face and here we are, I'm almost finished. Um, so you guys make sure that you stay tuned for the end of this video and also comment, like, and please subscribe to stay tuned for more videos that are in store. So again, we're almost done, for, ready for the comb out. So stay tuned. Now that her hair is completely curled, I'm gonna do one final touch of adding a little bit of foundation to really define her part. Again, this is a no baby hair look and I want it to look as if it is growing out of her scalp. So here I just used a little bit of cream foundation in the same color as her skin tone. And now I'm gonna use my wax stick to really lay that part down so it looks really natural and looks as if it's growing out of her scalp. After that, we're gonna get ready for the comb out. So I'm just gonna use a wide tooth comb to achieve this look. And it's so gorgeous, it's so chic. This is what I call the modern spin of the Marilyn Monroe Bob. So again, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please comment, please like, and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for more videos that are to come. So thank you guys, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos from Mark B and Press Natural Hair Spa. See you guys soon. Bye.